Okay, World of Wonder. This is part three of the Which Ball is Right for Me series. We're testing Chrome Tour X, Chrome Tour, and Chrome Soft. So far, Chrome Tour X has checked off all the boxes that I needed to. At a baseline level, it kind of compares itself to Chrome Soft X, which is what all I wanted. But this is where all the money's made, on the tee. With the putter and on the tee, I want to see if I'm going to get some ball speed out of this. So I'm actually going to be hitting all three golf balls. We're going to hit some drives, about two or three with each ball and find out ultimately what ball is going to land in my bag for the 2024 season. It's Johnny Wonder from the tee hitting drivers and hopefully find a new golf ball. Let's get into it. Here we go. All right, so we're going to start off with Chrome Soft X. Got my new Paradigm AI Smoke Driver. I'll just give you the specs on the driver. It's a 90 degree head at minus one in the D setting. It's got a flat cog. That is going to be the driver that we're going to be doing the testing with. We're in the 17th hole at the farms. You got to sack up and hit a good shot. It's a dog leg uh, left to right. But uh, whenever I play this hole, I kind of like to aim it down the right side and just rip it because it does open up to the right. So that's going to be my line. And let's see what this ball does. Okay, I actually hit it really good. Okay, 162 ball speed, 282 carry, 2609 spin. Okay, not awesome. Launched at 15.8 though. It's a serious launch. Okay, let's hit another one. Hit that one a lot better. Nice and high. That was closer to the center of the face. 164, 284, 23, 49 spin. Better launch that time at 14. Still a little high, but we're getting a good baseline. Let's hit one more. I've actually picked up a little bit of ball speed, 46. Wanted to hit it a little further. So we're actually getting uh, kind of cruising in the low to mid 160s, which is good for me. Hit that one right out of the middle. That's a nine and a half out of 10 strike. 165, 286, 25, 74, 13.1 launch. Those are, those are happy numbers. Okay, so we have a good baseline, but we're gonna start with Chrome Soft. I'm gonna save the ball that I kind of wanna play for last. So what we know about Chrome Soft is it's a very forgiving golf ball. It's got a soft feel, it's the softest of the bunch. Where it got better, pretty dang good around the greens uh, and pretty awesome into the wind. If you guys saw the iron video, uh, into the wind it flies really, really well. So. Let's see what it does with the driver. Hit it pretty good. Kind of a kind of a high cutter out there. 163, 272, had a lot of spin on it. 3,085 spin, which is a lot. Hit it pretty good, maybe a little wipey, but good ball speed. That was pretty good there. Okay, 162, 281, 2749 spin, 13.7 launch. Okay, those are cool numbers. Uh, let's go to the Chrome Tour. This is where I'm gonna start really eyeballing the ball speed. If I can get anywhere in the high 160s with either one of these golf balls, I'm gonna be super excited. Absolutely nuked. I gotta tell you, for the folks at home, this, this AI Smoke uh, Max Head is really good. Okay, once, 166, 289 at 24.19 spin. Those are awesome numbers. So a lot of the, a lot of the RPM mitigation with the Tour, tour, uh, the tour Golf Ball, a lot of it happens with the irons. It's not a golf ball that's going to dip and spin a lot with the driver. So it's something to kind of something to kind of consider. Um, so you're choosing the tour golf ball based on the iron performance more than anything else. That was nuke too. Let's see where this one goes to. 167, 292, 2300 spin, 13.7 launch. Okay, so we're happy. Chrome Tour X in R and D and a lot of the marketing and whatnot and all the tests that they did. Ball speed uptick in the Chrome Tour X versus XX was the big story. That and some spin around the greens uh, were kind of the big selling points. So with Chrome Soft X, we'll call the ball speed average 
but you have to rewind the video. I think it's probably around 163. So I'm gonna try and hit all these pretty much out of the middle of the face, hopefully. And let's see if we can get three balls that kind of live over 166. Oh God. That was awesome. 168, 292, 25, 59 spin at 11 and a half launch. All right, we're happy. And this is, I wonder what, like, I wonder what the, now, now, see, now this is how stupid I am. Now I'm thinking like, what if I had a triple diamond head, move the weight forward, maybe I can get some more out. We'll talk about that later. Whoa. God, I want to go out and play now. Like we're out here doing videos. Like I'm absolutely mashing this thing. 167, 293, 22, 24, 13 and a half launch. I'm going to tee this one down a little lower. I'm going to see if I can get it to launch a little lower just for, because why not? God, this thing is awesome. The combination of this ball and this head and like this setup, 168, 290, 26, 40, spin 13 launch. Okay. Let's have a conversation. The R and D marketing story was true. It is faster off of the tee. So I essentially picked up four miles an hour of ball speed, uh, or three, we'll call it three and a half. That's 10 yards of carry just by swapping in a new golf ball. And I'm maintaining everything that I have with my ball. So all I got out of this whole experiment, I'm gonna choose the Chrome Tour X because the, the performance doesn't lie. But essentially I kept everything I love and I gained something I needed, which is awesome. I got three and a half miles of ball speed out of this whole thing uh, by switching into the golf ball. And I love how it feels, I love how it sounds. But if you want more information on the Chrome family of golf balls, Chrome Tour, Chrome Soft, and Chrome Tour X, go to the World of Wonder website or callawaygolf.com. But that is how you test golf balls. Three videos, breaks it down, that's how we do it on tour. That's how all the elite amateurs do it. That's the best way to find out what golf ball's right for you. It's Johnny Wonder from the T. We're out of here.